<clears throat> Hi. Good. Hello once again. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. Still Mother's Day, so. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, but. Hope everyone's having a wonderful Mother's Day 2023. Here is your episode 1062 part 2 video and we're going to be lo- we're going to be learning about loving leadership from Lisa M. Samra derived from 1 Thessalonians 2 7 through 12. So if you're excited about this one, I hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to leave a like. Remember the like challenge. Go back to the the first video of today for explanation and if the challenge is not met by episode 1100 then and it will be canceled and i do not want to cancel that one i want to i want to see if i can hit it so if you'd be kind enough to hit that challenge for me don't make me cancel it so ow. sore my ear the ear itched i went to scratch it and oh it's sore but uh, birthdays, anniversaries, and prayer requests in the comment section below. And what is leadership to you? Let me know in the comments. What is a good leadership? So, subscribe if you do, turn on notifications, share the video and channel with your family and friends, and help me reach right now the 50 mark. I desperately want to hit that 50 mark sooner rather than later. So, and I only have seven more to hit that spot. So please help me hit that, hit that number. And then I would like to hit 100 by the end of summer, August 1st or August 15th. That's school summer type scheduling. So, but my three year anniversary is coming up in just 13 days. And then episode 1106 or 7, which I don't remember what number I got, but that will be your your special um, three years of videos video. That means I've had, that will be the video that completes three full years of videos. I, I had it at episode 1095, but I had to push it back a week because I was here a week and then I had to push it back some more because I was out a couple, I was a couple more days I was out with this sickness, still battling with it. Not as bad, but I still got, I've still got this um, shadowy effect in my ear. It makes it sound like my ears shut off. I can still hear to a certain point, but it, you just, you just feel that clogginess in your ear. I don't know why it's doing that. But then I have a little claw, a little bit of a little bit of that effect on that side. But and then I get conject uh clogged up every now and then and it like it did prior to recording the first video for the day. I got got set down, started to record it and it's like it just I just clogged up and it just wanted to I had to try to blow my, blow it out, and it's like, it's like, goodness gracious! I hate when I do that. I hate when you sit down to start to start talking, and all of a sudden you just your your sinuses and everything just clog up on you, and make you make you gag and everything. So sorry for making it, I'm not meaning to say that, but but. Um, if you're kind to get me to those numbers, I will appreciate you more than you ever imagined. So without further ado, let's learn how, how we should be loving leadership. Lisa writes a viral video of a mama bear. Get it? Mother's day. Trying to get her four energetic little cubs across a busy street brought a knowing smile to my face. It was delightful, delightfully relatable to watch her pick up her cubs one by one and carry them across the road only to have the cubs wander back to the other side. And after many seemingly frustrating attempts, the mama bear finally corralled all four of her cubs and they made it safely across the road. 
Ain't that crazy? You get one across, you go back and get another one, and that one she just got across, follow her back across. It says, you little, you little, like you, the, the little names I don't own. You crazy little kid. I put you over there and you follow me over. Why can't you follow me? Why couldn't they uh, do that? Try to get them to follow. And then for long, they'll, they'll figure, it out, figure it out. But <laughs> but it's like you put you put the child over there, make them stay. You go back to get the next one. And then that one followed you back. It's like, come on. I, just, I told you to stay over there. I got to get your brothers and sisters out. Cross this road. <laughs> but nope. They don't know that. <laughs> they haven't they haven't learned that that trait yet. <laughs> but time and time again they'll learn it. So the Tyler's work of parenting symbolized in the video matches imagery used by Paul to describe his care for the people in the church of Thessalonica. Instead of emphasizing his authority, the apostle compassed, compared his work among them to a mother and father caring for young children. 2 Thessalonians 2, 7 and verse 11, which says, We dealt with each, other, with each of you as a father deals with his own children. That's verse 11. So it was deep love for the Thessalonians, verse 8, that motivated Paul's ongoing efforts to encourage, comfort, and urge them to live lives worthy of God, verse 12. This impassioned call to godly living was born out of his loving desire to see them honor God in all areas of their lives. So Paul's example can serve as a guide for us in all our leadership opportunities, especially when the responsibilities make us weary. Empowered by God's Spirit, we can gently and persistently love those under our care as we encourage and guide them toward Jesus. Amen? So how have you experienced leadership motivated by love? And how might you encourage those under your care? So let me know your thoughts in the comment section by putting Q1 and Q2 in your response. And it doesn't have to be a response from you yourself. It can be somebody else's idea that fits that perfectly answered idea that fits those questions. So, but ponder those questions by saying this Heavenly Father, help me to extend to others the loving care you graciously showed to me. Amen. So your Bible reading today, 2 Kings chapters 19, 20, and 21, and in John chapter 4, verses 1 through 30. So, the first half of John chapter 4, verses 1 through 30. So, so coming up tomorrow in your fantastic Monday, May the 15th, 2023, in part 2 of episode 1063, we're going to be talking about exploring the stars from Dave Brennan, derived from Psalm 19, 1 through 6. So stay tuned for that. I'll get to that later tonight, but you'll see that tomorrow at 1, after 1. So with that said, I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on and trusting God. And he'll keep you safe in all you say and do in 2023. And beyond. And until later, peace out, everybody. So long, farewell. Come back later after seven, and we'll be talking about part two of your May Turning Point weekend series titled Fresh Air, focusing on moments of fresh faith. And then and then the title of, of this one will be Day by Day. Isaiah 29, 19 from the NLT is our beginning passage. I will look at 
my version to see if it's different, to see how different it is. Because most of the time, the New King James and then the New Living Translations are totally different. So, but yet, the, the NLT verse fits what they've got put down in the devotion. But our recommended reading will be Psalm 90, verses 13 through 17. Our turning point is from Josiah Condor, C-O-N-D-E-R. And our weekend reading has been 2 Chronicles 21 through 28. So I hope you read 21, 22, 23, and 24 yesterday for Saturday. And then read the other four today. So. It splits it up. I, I like it with the, with the weekend thing. When I only do the video on Sunday, I like to have it the uh, verses split as evenly as I can get. Sometimes you got like an odd number of chapters, so I say split it up evenly, and then that other that one chapter that's left, split it in half. That's about as even as I can get. Or you could just say. Like I say, you got seven chapters to read for the weekend. Read three one day and four the other day. Or read four one day and th- if you want to do it that way. But I say split it evenly. So I say split that other chapter in half. But some, sometimes that's what it is. There's seven chapters. So I say read three whole chapters and one half chapter on Saturday. And then read the, other, the rest of that one chapter and then the other three chapters on Sunday. That's the way I do it. So, but stay tuned for that. I'll get to that in just a few minutes, but you'll see that later after seven. So, with that said, God bless everyone. God bless America in 2023, and I'll see you later. <laughs> so, until later, me and Baby Yoda out. So, have a great rest of your Mother's Day 2023 afternoon, and we'll see you tonight after seven. So, with that said, goodbye.